This screencast is a follow-up to the particle in a one-dimensional box, where we determine the wave function of the system to be psi of x equals a sine n pi x over l. And this wave function had corresponding energy levels, e sub n equals h squared n squared over 8 ml squared. At this point, we want to go ahead and solve for our normalization factor a. Before we jump into the specifics, let's quickly review some features of the wave function. Recall that the magnitude of the wave function squared, which is equal to the complex conjugate of psi multiplied by psi, is interpreted as a probability density. In other words, psi star psi dx is interpreted as the probability that our particle is located between x and dx. For example, let's take a look at the wave function and probability density for the n equals 2 state of our particle in a box. So on the left, we have our wave function for the n equals 2 state, and on the right is our probability density function. Our probability of finding our particle between x and dx is then equal to the magnitude of psi squared times dx. We know that our particle has to be somewhere, so if we sum up all of the probabilities over all of space, the probability should sum to 1, or 100%. In general, we can use this fact to solve for the normalization factor of any given wave function. Okay, so let's get to the math. In this case, our particle is going to be located between x equals 0 and x equals l. And so 1 is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to l of psi star times psi dx. We know that a, in this case, from our wave function is just a constant. That's the constant that we're trying to solve for. So we can pull this out of our integral. And what we're left with is the integration of, from 0 to l of sine squared n pi x over l dx. To make this a little bit easier, we can use a trig identity uh, shown here. And after making this substitution and evaluating our integral from 0 to l, we're left with the simplified form 1 equals a squared over 2 times l. So if we go ahead and solve for a, we find that a is equal to the square root of 2 over l, and that makes our complete normalized wave function psi of x is equal to the square root of 2 over l times sine of n pi x over l.